what's up my crowds of tiaras welcome to etoxic tea lounge everything in this video is allegedly let's talk so today what we are going to be talking about is Krishan, blueface carlissa jane and alexis we're gonna be talking about it y'all okay so some recent stuff happened okay and we are gonna get straight into it we are gonna get into some of these video clips okay we are gonna be getting into some of the posts some comments regarding the situations that's going on right now now let me start off by saying this i know y'all gonna look at the, the the events that we're gonna be looking at talking about and be like oh my god growth right now i'm gonna just say this and then we're gonna talk a little bit more about it after y'all see the clips okay it's only real growth is if everybody in this situation on all sides are genuine okay not a cloud chasing camera moment not a let me prove this to the world let me prove this to this and let me prove this to him or her and that's all i gotta say if it's genuine on everybody's part that's playing a part of the situation then <laughs> big ups to everybody in the situation but me personally i'm just gonna say this right now i'm not a hundred percent oh my god in awe okay i'm not a hundred percent like oh my god everybody in this situation has growth oh my god this and y'all might be like oh my god you're a hater you can never be positive when it comes to Krishan and them and da, 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 da. this is regarding Blueface. This is regarding Krishan and Carlissa and Jaden and Alexis. Okay, I feel like a lot of people in this situation is not genuine. It's a cloud chase, a moment, a camera moment, a views moment. In my opinion, okay, and we are gonna say why in a minute. So let's get into some of the receipts. It literally just happened, so I really just wanted to come on here and talk about it. Okay. So, hmm. first we're going to start but with Carlissa when she first said it. Because Carlissa, y'all already know, she said she pulling up to everybody's door and she wants to see their, her, her grandkids, right? Now, let's get into this one little clip that she said and then we're going to get into present. Let's go. I'm about to pull up at my grandbaby's doorstep and we're gonna see what it do. Uh oh. I'm about to pull up at my grandbaby's doorstep and we're gonna see what it do. Uh oh. I'm gonna pull up to my grandbaby's doorstep and see what it do. Okay, so do y'all think, let me know down in the comments below, do y'all think that Carlissa really pulled up unannounced? Like, I'm pretty sure Carl, um, Krishan and everybody and her people's probably already seen the rival videos of her saying that she's gonna pull up indoors and stuff like that. But, do y'all really think that Krishan and Carlissa had a conversation before the cameras turned on and had an agreement and a deal? Okay. Was it a little bit too smooth for y'all? Like, I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below. How do y'all feel about the pull up? Now we're going to get into another clip of what Carlissa said. Let's go. We're going to see what she want to do. Going shopping for him today. Pulling up on all my grandbaby doors. Then I'm going to go pull up on Jaden's door and get my grandkids. Because the people said you got to get denied before you um, apply to visit to get grandparents right. All right. So a lot of the stuff that she was popping in her lives and on her videos and stuff like that is when she do pull up. It's because she's trying to have grandparent rights do not know if courts is going to get involved do not know if she's trying to document her you know going up to the homes to trying to see her kids and stuff like that and Krishan allowed it so I don't think that she has to do very much because Krishan is allowing her to see you know her grandchild hmm. but we are gonna get straight into the part where Carlos is actually holding the baby now I want everybody to pay attention to the energy in the room. Now, everybody's definitely not going to look at this segment and think the same. So, please comment down below. What do you see or what do you feel when you see this video about the energy that's going on? Let me know. These little crazy. And you probably put the chain on this baby girl. It's a binky. It's not a chain. It's a binky. 
<laughs> yeah, it's a big is not a chain. It's an expensive, yeah. Crying. Crying. Ain't no chain. <laughs> he gonna get iced up when he like what eighteen? <laughs> that was it. Oh. Uh, I'm proud of both of y'all. Thank y'all for doing this. You hear me? Uh, you hear me? No. For real. God is, God is good. God is good. Amen. All the time. Oh, yeah. I read the word. It says something about love. God is good, man. Like, I'm not worthy of that love. <laughs> look at D-Lo's mother, yo. She do not look like somebody's mother. Give, give, look at her. All right. To me, the energy was a little off, a little weird. It just was a weird vibe, okay? It just felt like there's something in the air. I cannot pinpoint what it is, right? Now, we do know that Krishan and Carlissa does not have a relationship. You understand what I'm saying? They don't have a close bond. They never got along. This is a person who, you know, beat up somebody's um, mother, okay? Like, and sister, and... I don't know. It's just the energy is weird to me. Okay. I truly believe that Carlissa is not genuinely. Maybe she do want to meet Krishan Jr. and stuff like that because she wants to, you know. But these are the same people that's talking about second DNA tests and this and this and that. And just popping a whole bunch of stuff. You know, it's just weird to me. Okay. Now we're going to get straight into this clip of Krishan explaining and, you know, talking about, you know, when Carlissa pulled up and. Her thoughts and, you know, some of her, it's looking like she's t kind of, like, iffy about it. You know, like, she's not too sure, okay? And one thing I want to say about that is, if you are not 100% trustworthy in somebody, all right, and you know your, and you know or feel that their intentions are not genuine and you really feel like it's some fake stuff, some cloud stuff going on, or however you feel about this person, why would you let them around your child? I don't care if you're trying to seem like you're trying to have growth to show the world something or prove something. I don't know. But you always got to go with your gut feeling. Okay. I'm not going to be uncomfortable and have, I don't care who you are around my kid. Okay. If I do not trust you, if I feel like you're a fake and a cloud chaser. These are all things that Krishan said about Carlissa that everybody say about Carlissa that knows that Carlissa cloud chaser and she does petty and likes throwing things in your face and exposing things. So I wouldn't want nobody around me like that, especially if you're in a public eye and things could get exposed and things could get talked about and leaked. Why take that risk? Why? Why? Because you think that you have to do it because that's the grand the grandmother? No. Mm -mm. Let's just get into this little video clip. Uh, we was by ourselves. I beat the shot at her. So. So what? You respectful. Oh. She by herself. That's a black lady. You can't just tell her to come up in here by herself. I mean, I could try. Hey. I tell her I stay live. For her, if she want, because I wouldn't beat her up on live, or maybe I would, but I'm not beating up nobody mother. Okay, so let her in and her security. Let her in her security. Who that other lady? I don't know that other lady. She ain't blood. So ask her who are you? 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 Let, let her in her and not the security. No. The gate not broke, it's broke. Go get the key. All right. So if you are having thoughts, if you can't even trust yourself around a person, if you even have thoughts that you might have to put hands on somebody, why are you having this person around you? I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I'm not wasting my energy. I'm not putting nobody around me and my kids and no none of that if I feel these ways about the person. Oh, I'm going to beat her up. I don't care if it's online. Maybe I will beat her up if on live. And I don't want to beat up nobody, mother. Girl, you already beat up his mother. You beat up his mother, his sister, anybody that talked to him. And everybody, a whole bunch of people. Okay? So, I don't know where that came from. Because you talking about you don't want to beat up somebody, mother. But your whole mindset and thought process is you will if you have to. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just like, why put yourself in that situation? I just don't see the point of it. Now... We are going to see a little clip of Blueface because clearly Blueface, all right, went and seen Krishan Jr. 
All right. Um, this this is another reason why I feel like a lot of people is not genuine. Now, Blueface, Krishan just said that she does not want Blueface around because the, you know, him leaking, you know, their son's, you know, stuff online and, you know, calling him a pedo and a whole bunch of stuff. She don't trust this or she don't trust that. And then here they go. Now, I know y'all might be like, but he's the dad and every child deserves a father and blah, 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 blah. Yes, that's true. Okay. But there's definitely a line that you cannot cross. Okay. Being a parent at all. The other parent, Debbie, whoever, you know, there's a line you cannot cross. Okay. You can't go exposing your kids and the issues and stuff and doing all this petty childish stuff to try to get back at each other, playing little tit for tat games like your kids online, knowing y'all public figures and then everything that they put out is a negative light. And then Krishan Jr.'s there just don't know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a battle between Krishan, Jaden, and Blueface. And it's like, Y'all not really thinking about Krishan Jr. So if Blueface is around Krishan Jr. and is genuine and really going to put his foot forward and really be a dad and be present and do what he has to do for Krishan Jr., fine. But I feel deep down inside that this is not going to last long. This is not this is not going to be a consistent thing, okay? If anything, it's going to get worse. They're going to have an argument. Um, he's going to probably come up with some whatever and she's not going to want to listen or he, she not going to listen. He not going to listen. It's going to be some stupid stuff that they going to argue about. They're going to go back on Twitter. Watch. They're going to go back on Twitter. Okay. They're going to go back and forth talking about each other, exposing things. And this situation going to go right back to how it was. You know what I'm saying? Because this is just how I feel. Okay. If I don't see consistency, with Blueface being around Krishan Jr. doing what he got to do, actually claiming his son, actually, you know, talking as if Krishan Jr. is his son because he just said on Jason Lee's show that he only got two kids, which is Javon and Journey. So, I mean, that was just the other day. You know, it was not too long ago. So, I just felt like where is the, you know, the change now? You know, we already spotted y'all, you know, jackets and closets, I mean, in bathrooms and stuff like that. We already know y'all still freaking. But, yeah, Krishan Jr. is supposed to be the priority, not the sex, okay? And until I start seeing consistency on Carlissa actually being a grandparent and stop exposing the baby mothers and their parenting and all this stuff for clout, you know, because she feels some type of way about something or she doesn't feel acknowledged or whatever the case may be, then I'd be like, okay, Carlissa's genuine, Blueface genuine, Krishan's genuine, if they be consistent and keep it like this and really try to bond and build together for the kids. If not, we're going to be in back in the same thing, talking the same stuff. So, I mean, it is what it is. So, let's get into some of the live, okay, with Krishan um, when they arrived, okay? Thank you, guys. The ammo for me? No, get the f I'm scared of her. Oh, no. Let me go get your grandson. Right, for real. I'm scared. No, he not. He always bite when I fight. I told you he comes straight for me. Nah, he missed you. Look at him. He playing. He only do that when we fight. Yeah, bring the food, too. Y'all want some f***ing or just crazy? Should I get off live and be? Yeah. All right, bye, y'all. I got <laughs> No, but live going to hold court on his ass. I need the evidence, because what if she edit that video? Oh, no, that's... Hey, All right. All right, come on, give it to me. Oh, he always it's not a good time. Hey, I told him no cameras, and they trying to say you were saying. All right, so one thing that I noticed that she said was she wanted it to stay live because 
she feels like she has to have her own type of video documentation or whatever because she felt like Carlissa or whatever is going to edit it however she wanted to edit or whoever is going to do with the video. She doesn't trust it. You know what I'm saying? So she's still having this mindset into not trusting Carlissa and whoever is around her. Why are you having these people in your home? Who are these people? You know what I'm saying? And then in the video, one of her people told her, oh, Carlissa leaked your address, you know, show the house. And Carla and Krishan said she doesn't care because it was already leaked online anyways. You know what I'm saying? But she's saying if anybody come there, they're going to get blasted on. But this is what she want to do. This is what Carlissa wants to do. This is what, you know, everybody in the situation feel like they have to do, I guess, to move forward. But will they really move forward? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm not trying to be negative, but I'm just trying to see it for what it is, okay? I'm not the type of person, even in real life, okay? Oh, if somebody come back around and they trying to prove themselves, apologize, or whatever the case may be, I'm not the type of person to be like, yeah, 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 no. You're going to have to prove yourself for me to trust you. You're not, it's just not that easy over here. Okay. So I don't know how it is over there because you know it's a lot of fake stuff going on over there, a lot of cloud chasing over there, too much stuff going on over there. So, I mean, it's two different situations because I won't move like that. Maybe y'all move like that and maybe y'all that forgiving and fake and stuff like that. But me, I'm not. I don't care who's in a situation or what, what, what y'all trying to say. Oh, it's for the kids and I don't care about none of that. If I can't trust you around me and my kids, there's not no conversations about kids, period. And that's just how I feel about it. Now, everybody, even the people in the video, um, when they seen when Carlissa was holding the baby, um, D-Lo mom and, you know, whoever else that came with Carlissa, whoever else them people are, they basically were talking about the big chain on Krishan Jr.'s neck. Like, why you got that big chain on his neck? And she was like, oh, okay, whatever. It's dumb. That chain look heavy. He does not need that big old. Now, the chain is cute. The little binky, blinked out binky is cute. And I said it in my last video. But that's a little bit too much for a two-month-old neck. Come on now. Let's 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 not go extra and, and do too much, okay? Like, that's too much in my opinion. But that's her baby. If she want to put a heavy chain on his neck, then she going to do that. It is what it is. That's, that's her child. But we are the outsiders looking in, and we are going to talk about it, right? It's not that serious. So let's talk about um, Carlissa had put up. He's the peacemaker, the joy of my heart. Pretty sure she's talking about Krishan Jr. because she just left from being around him, right? Now she also reposted Krishan. It says Krishan is live and Krishan's caption on her live says, I'm going to pray before I let her in. And they let her in. Now we're going to listen to Carlissa. She made a little, she went on live and she, you know, expressed a little something something about just now leaving and seeing Krishan Jr. etc. She says she's going to come back and express more, talk about it more. But we shall see. But let's get into this clip. Um, uh, <clears throat> a lot of shots of wine. Um, so, yeah, if you missed it, you can go watch it on Sunday. If you miss it on here, the link is in my bio. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'll let you know what the next stop is like. She says she's going on the next stop. Now, she did say that she's going to be going, pulling up to people's houses to see her grandkids. And I'm thinking Jaden might be the next one. Okay. Because we do know that Krishan and Jaden Alexis is iffy about their kids around Carlissa to the present moment. Right. Um, I don't know how that's going to go. Yeah, I might be like, oh, well, Krishan did it. She was around Carlissa and let her see the kids. Why wouldn't Jaden do it? Da, 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 da. Jaden and Carlissa has a way much long history than Carlissa and Krishan. Okay. If you ask me, I would have thought that it would have been harder for Krishan and Carlissa because Krishan put hands on Carlissa and her daughter. I would have thought that would have been a long doubt dragged on beef and I would not be no time around me or mine. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just too much disrespect. I want to put myself in no situation where I feel that me or the person might have to fight. I'm not putting myself in that situation, especially with my kids around. Not but doing not doing that. OK, so basically, Carlos is saying she about to pull up. OK, and she's documenting all these things, you know, for her show or for whatever she got going on. OK, but let me know how y'all feel about all of this stuff okay how do y'all feel about it we are gonna get straight into some of the comments about time 
because being a Debbie is never the wave. I hope he realizes he and Krishan's relationship shouldn't affect the time he spends with his son. Exactly. And I already said that. I said, um, if y'all really trying to do for the kid, okay, and it's not just a clout moment and let me just do it for the camera moment, then yeah, work on it for Krishan Jr. But if you know it's not genuine, it's fake, and Blueface know he doesn't want to really be a part of the baby's life or think that the baby's not his and y'all just wasting time, then separate. You know what I'm saying? They sick as hell after that guy posted that baby privates. It would have been a wrap for him. Okay. Where is his shirt? They talking about Kashawn Jr. Because Kashawn Jr. Y'all see Kashawn Jr. in a video with blue face and he ain't had nothing on. That's what people talking about. Okay. At least he's trying. Now he just has to cut out all the smack talking he be doing that he only has two kids and one baby mama. Because he been just saying that. Right. Why he got on a jacket but the baby ain't got on a shirt outside. It's November. He better not say nothing about that not being his son no more. Why? This is why they've been quiet. I love this for them. CJ is innocent and yes, I nicknamed the baby because I was in that delivery room, period. Everybody was in the delivery room, but that's weird. Um, Sad part is he can put 10 rings on that girl hand and because he is doing what he's supposed to do for his other child, she going to be miserable for the rest of her life. Never happy unless he really blah, 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 whatever. I only feel sorry for the kids in the middle of bigger kids mess. Shaking my head. Not y'all praising him for finally spending time with his two month old baby. And he made sure to record it. Child, somebody needs to go check on Jaden. That's why Jaden was big mad. Makes sense. A scorning woman ain't ever a good one, especially when it's kids that get them upset. Okay, so now people are saying, um, in this video right here, she was getting her hair done. Blueface basically recording her, like always. He always want to record stuff, and this is not the first time Jane and Alexis did not want to be recorded. Okay, she pushes the phone away a lot of the times, you know, but clearly she was upset in here. Okay, we do not know if it was about the time because this was the same around the same time when they made this video that it came out that his jacket was in Krishan's thing and it was going viral. Everybody was talking about it. It could have been that too. And it could have been, you know, about the kid. I don't know. But if Jaden Alexis is upset that Blueface is around his child, she needs help. OK, now it's different if she knows that Blueface is going to be around the baby and he might be potentially still smashing. Then she would be upset because she's the one that has this ring on her finger that is allegedly supposed to be getting married to the man. OK, anybody in her shoes would feel some type of way. <laughs> this would be a cute moment had he not gone on the Jason Lee show saying I only got two kids a few weeks earlier. Okay, this is why Stewie got an attitude and Carlissa overrocks visiting the baby. That girl is so mad, shaking my head. She's gonna have to let that hurt go. She knew a baby was coming. Okay, and I can say on both sides because Krishan felt some type of way at the time when Jaden and Alexis got pregnant when him and Krishan was messing around here and there, but Blueface was heavenly over there with Jaden and Alexis. And Krishan felt some type of way because she was like, You made me get these abortions and you having a baby by somebody you're not even with. Da, 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 da. So I guess both these ladies feel some type of way about something when it comes to the other side. He needs to be doing a lot more for his son, especially after exposing him online. This is at least a start and we can only hope God spoke to him and he's going to now start putting his, I guess, his foot down, his working, whatever they were saying. This is why Jaden was mad. I don't care. It's all weird and messed up. OK, so we're going to pretend like we don't hear that lighter in the background. They're talking about the blue face clip when he was with the baby. You hear a, it does sound like that, but we don't know because we can't see it. As long as he active in his life, that's all that matters. Okay, so basically that is all for this video. Okay, I just wanted to talk about this real quick because I know y'all gonna want me to talk about it because y'all be in my DMs talking about, hey, about this, about that, about that. Now, for the ones that is DMing me about the Kiki Palmer and stuff, I already spoke about that, so make sure y'all check out my last video okay now like i said before i'm not trying to be negative but i'm just going by because i talk about them a lot 
you know what I'm saying? So I see what's going on and I'm going to feel however I want to feel. If I'm not that type of gullible person to just see something and run with it, I'm just not that type of person. If you are that type of person, then that's fine. We all can have faith in them. Like, oh my God, yes, let's just hope that everybody in this situation can get it together for the kids. Okay, because to be honest with you, there are adults if they want to mess around each other's lives and hurt each other and do this and do that and do the toxic stuff, that's going to be on their behalf. But they got to understand that kids are in the middle that can be affected because we clearly see that these adults, when they're in their feelings and the other person don't like whatever was going on, they separate themselves from the kids. Blue face. <laughs> But he doesn't, but he really don't do that with Jaden. He be always with the kids. But I'm just saying with, um, with, um, Krishan Jr., that's exactly what is going on in his, in his current moment. Because he is the new baby in this situation. Okay. So let me know how y'all feel about this. Okay. If they're genuine, like I said, kudos to them. That's what they're supposed to do. You're supposed to be a parent. You're not going to get cookies and a biscuit or whatever you want, okay, with a soda on the side, chicken noodle soup. I don't know. You're not going to get nothing, okay, from actually doing what you're supposed to do, okay? You don't get no kudos for that, okay? Now, there has to be some type of growth, okay? Now, if growth is... You know, you can see a person changing and stuff like that. Then, yeah, we love to see some type of growth. Okay, you know what I'm saying? But being a parent, that is something that you supposed to do. That's your responsibility. Okay, you don't get cookies for it. But anyway, I love y'all. Make sure y'all let me know how y'all feel about it down in the comments below. Let me know how y'all feel about everything and catch me in my next video. I love y'all. Toodaloo. Mwah. Gotta be.